Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this quick After Effects tutorial, I am gonna show you how to create a magnifying glass effect using only one adjustment layer. You can apply it to the text, on a logo, or on a picture. So, let's get started. So the first thing you need to open Adobe After Effects, and create a new composition. I've already created the composition of 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second and duration to 10 seconds. So, the second thing is that you need to have a magnifying glass vector. You can download it for free. The download link is in the description. Right click the magnifying glass layer and create shapes from vector. Our shapes are created. So we just need to make some adjustments. We need to reduce the opacity of the lens and a light effect on it. Let me do it faster to save your time. Now, our magnifying glass is ready. Actually we need 5 layers. Number 1. Null object. Number 2. Magnifying glass. Number 3. Adjustments layer. Where we apply the effects. Number 4. Our text or logo or an image. Number 5. The background layer. You can skip the background layer if you are using the image. Now, delete this vector layer. We don't need it. Let's create a null object. Go to layer then new and select null object. Now, drag the null object to the center of our magnifying glass. Now, parent our magnifying glass layer to the null object. Select the pick whip and drag to the null object. So we can move the magnifying glass with null object. Cool. Create a new adjustment layer. Go to layer then new and select adjustment layer. Drag the adjustment layer below the all layers. Keep the adjustment layer selected, and select the ellipse tool, and create a circle mask on a glass area. So we'd like to apply the effects on the selected area. Now, pick whip the adjustment layer to the null object as well. Perfect. Now, we have connected two layers with the null object. Grab the horizontal type tool and add your text. Please ignore the type or mistake. Now, align text to the center. Drag the text layer just below the adjustment layer. Let's add an effect to the adjustment layer. Go to the effects and presets. Search the effect transform. Drag and drop the effect on the adjustment layer. Let's change the scale to see the changes. 120 is just perfect. Cool. Now, we need to add one more effect. Go the effects and presets. Search the effect bulge. Drag and drop the effect to the adjustment layer. Now, we don't see an effect happening. 
drag this small circle to the center of the glass. Now, drag the small dots to increase the radius. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Select the null object and press P to open position. Select the adjustment layer. Hold the Alt key and click this little stopwatch icon to add an expression to the anchor point and position. Drag the pick whip to the null object position. Again hold the Alt key and click the little stopwatch icon of the bulge center to add an expression. Now, drag the pick whip to the null object position. Perfect. Drag the null object and check this. It's working. Let's add a background. So, go to the layer then new and select solid. I am going with the dark blue color. But you can choose any color which you may like. Drag the background layer just below to all layers. Apply a grid effect to it. Change the size from corner point to width slider. Reduce the opacity. Change the blending mode to overlay. Cool. We can increase and decrease the bulge height. Also the transform scale. It's time to animate the magnifying glass. Make sure you are at the first frame. Press P to open position and add a keyframe. Drag the magnifying glass to the left side. Now, change its position after 5 seconds. Copy the first keyframe and paste it to the last frame. Select all keyframes. Right click and go to Keyframe Assistant and choose Easy Ease. Let's preview it. Cool. It's working amazingly. Let's change the rotation. Select the null object and hit R to open rotation properties. Change the rotation randomly on each keyframe. Select all keyframes. Right click and go to Keyframe Assistant and select Easy Ease. The shortcut key is F9. Let's preview it. Cool. It's working perfectly. Let's change the text. Cool. Let's try the magnifying effect on the logo. I have already imported the logo. Let's add the logo just below to the adjustment layer.
hide the text layer. Let's check it again. Our magnifying glass animation is ready. And it's working perfectly. I hope you've learned a lot from this tutorial. Please hit the like button if you find this video helpful. I'll see you next time on Rizat Graphics. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Rizat Graphics for more tutorials.